What's good, G Shock Society? It's your boy G Dub, G Shock Warrior, three ones, rocking the TCF, chosen few, cruel mind. <clears throat> Got another video for you guys. Um, third video in a row that's not a 6900. I know I'm getting out of my, you know, um, like comfort zone, but it's just videos of watches that I figured you guys would like to see. I know there's videos of them out there already. But it's just, they come by me, so I figured I'd run them by you guys. I don't keep anything from you guys, so if the minute I get something in my hands, it's coming straight to you guys. Um, this watch is a gift from um, my homegirl, Brooke, to her boyfriend, really close personal friend of mine, JP. This was a Valentine's Day gift. I helped pick it out for him because I know the kind of style of watches he likes. It's a really nice watch. Um, pretty common. But, you know, then again, it's also a really nice piece. It's, I'm trying to do a review on watches. Everybody has, not just the limited editions. But um, I'm pretty sure after this, I'm going back into my limited edition 6900 zone. Um, next video, next video. Next weekend is going to be a really busy weekend for me. I'm looking at potentially three or four videos just in the next weekend alone. So, um, stay tuned, guys. You know, I'm, no, I'm never... Um, Slacking on you guys, I always gotta do what I gotta do. Make sure I keep this moving alive. Make sure you guys stay informed and my crew stays represented. But without further ado, I'm not gonna keep you guys from the pieces. Well, from the piece, I'm sorry. This is, of course, the new G Shock 10 that they came out with in 2011. Of course, it carries over to 2012. Um, it's a military style watch, however, it's a GD100 version military style. GD100. Military style watches are actually kind of unique because there's not only one of them, like the 6900. 6900 only has a DW6900 MS1, of course, but the um, the GD series, the GD100 series, has many um, military styles. Um, of, guys, of course, you guys all know of the three playsets. All three playsets are considered military style because of the green and the coloring zone that they all have. Um, you guys know the GD. 100 MS2, which is a GD100 just like this one, but it has the dark green outlook instead of the black. Um, that's definitely military style because camouflage always comes in green and brown and all those colors. But this is a GD100 MS1. It's the first release of the military style in the GD100 series. You see the model number right there. Um, 3263, of course. GD100. Sorry, guys. I had like a like I paused a little bit right there, but um, really, really, really sick watch, really sick watch, and I'm gonna tell you guys why. Um, we picked this out for my boy on Sunday, and he got it from his girl on Monday. He gave it to me so I can make the review on this watch, cause I told him I helped pick it out. Of course, I have to make the review. Everybody knows. Um, no tag, no manual. Um, she snipped a little extra something, I guess, in the case, so they had to pull out the manual and the tag. But of course, the watch is serious. It's real. First thing I'm going to hit you guys with is the backlight. So I'm going to hit this light right here real quick. But um, I love this backlight. Of course, classic GD100. Dual LED backlight. However, this one is red. Yes. Normal GD100s. Like I remember the Nigel Sylvester, which was, was a GD100, had the blue backlight. This one has the red. Like really red. Literally like blood red. I know it looks kind of orangish on the screen, but... It's red. It's as red as it gets, guys. It's not like the F7 6900 that um people keep questioning. Oh, it looks more like pink or magenta. No, this is red. Red, red. Ruby red. Blood red. Whatever kind of red you want to call it. It's the red, red backlight. Two red LEDs. There's no other word for it. Um, Blacked out, of course, buckle. Classic to the military style watches. But, like I'm telling you, this is as, as military as it gets. Just like the GD, the, um... DW6900, it has the blacked out buckle, um, that's not like regular silver, it's definitely like, it has that black ion to it, god, one, oh my god, I hate this double clasp thing, I swear to god I do, but, alright, I got it off, anyway, okay, so, GD100 MS1, we got it out against all odds, Good fashion store at our mall that sells nice watches. Because of the red LED, the um, display has a bit of a burgundy look to it. Like, it doesn't look neutral. It looks red. It's not the gold that some um, displays be having. 
I would show you guys a neutral backlight, I mean a neutral display, but I so happen to have the new arrow on the wrist today. I was at the mall just now, so, um, of course I was going to be dressed fly. <clears throat> Got the new arrow on the wrist. But, um, yeah, all back, all black, matte finish. There's no, nothing special about this watch. The only coloring besides the black and the burgundy display is the red around the trim. Same red that the, um, military style 6900 has. Um, on its right eye, like I showed you guys, the model module number written on the band to GD100, so a bit larger than the 6900. Um, there's not much to this watch. G-Shock written in black. The buttons they're black, but they're not um, metal plated like the DW6900 buttons are. They're the classic GD100 rugged buttons. You guys see it. They're black on both sides. Show you guys the back, um, the back plate. Casio G-Shock, shock resist, module number, made in Thailand, all that good stuff. Um, let's see what mis mysterious country is written in the back of um, Japan. No, China on the buckle. Sorry, guys. Small writing. But yeah, um, classic piece. GD100 MS1 price range anywhere from 70 to 110. If you're lucky, eBay, Amazon, you might find this watch for 70. Um, it's very common. It's very popular. It's a military style. Obviously, everybody likes military style watches because they're discreet. They're subtle. The paint is matte. It's not glossy. It doesn't attract attention. And then such a pretty watch with that red backlight. It's a killer. Obviously, everybody's gonna want it. But um, yeah, it's a really pretty piece. Um, GD100s and GA110s are rubbing off on me. I'm going to want one eventually, <laughs> but I just don't know which one of the two. I don't know which model. Um, but yeah. Um, this is your boy G-Dub, repping TCF. Shout out to the usual, 2892 Adrian, um, S.3000 Spills, G-Shock Prince, um, that dude down there in Houston, newest acquisition to the crew. Make sure I got everybody, Adrian, S. That dude, Prince, um, 3000, me, that's six. I feel like I'm missing somebody. Damn, I feel like I'm, ha <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. Yo, Monty, you know I love you. Um, left you out because I know you like GD100s and GA110s. You like your XL displays. So, um, look for this watch, dude. The um, red backlight is a killer. It really is. Um, it kind of sucked me in. As soon as I saw it, I was like, wow, a red LED backlight looks beautiful. Um, everybody has watches with the blue. So, you got to go with the red. Shout out to Morocco up there in um, London. He's been doing his thing. Got his first video up with that collection. Beautiful collection. Um, of course, you guys, you guys know me and him had our difficulties. But we settled it all out. We're straight. Um, this movement, we do it as one. We don't like problems in the society, let alone the inner circle and the outer circle, of course. Um... But yeah, shout out to all of TCF. If you guys haven't checked out everybody's videos that I've just named, look them up. Most likely they're going to be the ones commenting this video because they're quick to do that. <laughs> so give them a look. They're helping me out. They're my boys. I help them out. They help me out. Whatever we're looking for, we all try to help each other out. It's a society, of course. So we got to do things together as one. Obviously, Rome wasn't built in one day. So, um... Gotta take things slow, but just make sure if you ever need anything, any of one of us has your back, and no question is stupid. The only stupid question is the one left unasked. So anything that's on your mind, let us know. They know just about just about as much, or if not more, than I do. So you let them know. My boy three thousand knows the master of G, master of G collection better than I do. Um, Adrian can probably tell you where to find anything. And so on and so forth. The whole crew has, you know, their own attributes. So shout outs to them. This is your boy G Dub checking in with the um, GD100 MS1. Um, true military style it has the MS1, not the two, and not any other playsets. This is the original module on the band. Black subtle display, red trim, red backlight, burgundy look, very subtle. G Shock in black. Writing in black, buttons in black, only silver is the back, buckle black, 
Of course, beautiful piece. You guys look out for the GD100 series. New era on the wrist. Look out for next weekend. Got a shitload of videos. Um, most of them are additions to my collection. This is a boy. This is of course my boy's JPs. But the ones coming in are gonna be all mine. Most of them are limited. Um, look out for that. I have a nice little um, like surprise slash fun video coming out for you guys. Of course, I'm gonna keep it G-Shock. All my activity is always G-Shock. My videos are always G-Shock. My comments always G-Shock. So um yeah, I'm gonna stop stalling. It's your boy G Dub. I love you guys. Keep up the support, rate, comment, subscribe. If you're not subscribed to my channel yet, don't know what the hell you're doing, but you're watching this video. So subscribe to me, subscribe to my boys, it's your boy D Dub. I'm checking out. See y'all next weekend.